Geometric mapping is used in all disciplines to show the relationship between ideas. It helps students discover the relationship between vocabulary words. Furthermore, it helps students see how ideas are related and helps them to identify and connect important details. In semantic maps, an idea or vocabulary word is the main focus. Strands explain and clarify, and other generalizations, details, inferences, and supports are added. Here, information about Lincoln is gathered. In this semantic map about transportation, the information has been organized by category. This also gives students a deeper understanding about the vocabulary word, how it relates to other topics, and how to organize information. In this video, a student explains a story using a semantic map. And um, this part is <laughs> Tecumseh likes Cornstalk, and then Cornstalk died. Isn't that sad? And then um, he doesn't like sensualist torture. It sickens him. It just sickens him. Well, he doesn't like what? He doesn't like senseless torture. Okay. Teachers should model first how to complete the semantic map. Students learn from their prior knowledge and from their peers, so it can be beneficial to work with groups or in partners. Semantic mapping is a great way to teach vocabulary across the disciplines. Science and social studies teachers can have students explore and connect ideas and concepts. English teachers can not only use semantic maps for vocabulary, but for theme and other literary discussions as well. Students can also study terms from films and other media. Semantic maps have many purposes. Semantic maps can be used before and after reading to unite prior knowledge and the information learned from reading. They can be used for brainstorming and as guides to stories and themes. Students can also use semantic maps while reading informational text to record and organize information. Semantic maps, also known as word and bubble maps, can be used to plan writing. Students can use semantic maps to study or combine lecture notes and reading notes.